Howdy folks, I am a goon. I'm Amber. And here's some Reddit. Our first letter is titled, Am I a jerk for laughing at my brother while he's going through a bad divorce? My brother is going through a divorce right now. He's been living with my mom and dad and me and my parents helped him come up with money to get a lawyer. I know it's a rough time for him. When he met with a lawyer for the first time, he found out that you can't get alimony in a divorce if there is infidelity, as the law forbids it and there are no exceptions. It doesn't matter if you stayed at home with your kid for over 20 years like my brother or never worked. My sister-in-law is an architect and she makes bank. My brother thought that he would get alimony, but he was dumb enough to cheat on her. He also found out that he is not able to claim any part of the house because she owned it outright before they got married. Both of these he wasn't expecting and he was obviously upset when he got back from his first visit with the lawyer. When he told me that the law will deny him alimony, I laughed and my parents chewed me out over it. It probably was the wrong reaction, but he was pretty confident that he would be able to get a big payment and half or all of the house. He will get some money from their savings, but nowhere near what he thought and most of it will get eaten up because of legal fees. He has been knocked down several pigs and completely messed himself over. Am I the jerk because I laughed? Was it like kicking him when he was down? He has no work history or money of his own to fall back on. I know it's been rough for him and he's struggling with what to tell my niece as well. It was almost an involuntary reaction because I just couldn't believe it. Alright folks, what do you think? Jerk or not the jerk? Not the jerk. Sometimes involuntary reactions happen. Yeah, I don't think OP was going out of their way to make their brother feel bad, but this is a pretty audacious plan that he had. He he cheated on her and then he expected to get a big payout. Like, it's just kind of like he got his comeuppance type of situation. And I certainly feel sympathetic for him that he, to some degree, that he is not does not have any kind of work history and doesn't have any kind of thing to fall back on but largely he did this to himself he could have taken the appropriate legal actions and then been able to file for divorce and if he hadn't been able to get alimony at that point in time i would actually feel really bad because you know he has 20 years out of the workforce and you shouldn't be trapped in a bad relationship you're not happy with but instead of taking the appropriate legal action he thought he could have his cake and eat it too and then thought that he was going to be able to make bank off of it it's really just not something that makes me feel very sympathetic towards him so anyhow take care and good luck not the jerk, he had a life where his wife provided a home and the income that he decided to destroy by cheating on his wife and expected to walk away with her hard-earned money. Him pouting over the reality of having to deal with the consequences of his own stupidity is laughable. Not the jerk, cheaters deserve to be laughed at. Alright folks, our next letter is titled, Am I a jerk for making my mother-in-law believe that I was having an affair? I'm a 27 year old female and my husband, a 26 year old male, and I are big gaming addicts. Our parents hate that we play games and we have gotten multiple fights as children and adults over our hobby. It is a sore subject in our family and we have opted to lie and say that we are outside if anyone asks what we are doing. We both work from home and right after work we proceed to play games until midnight. None of us like leaving the house, so we are practically next to each other 95% of the time. There is no humanly possible way for either of us to have cheated on one another. I'm currently pregnant, and this has caused my in-laws to visit very frequently. Due to this increased number of visits, we have reduced much of our gaming time for the better health of the baby, and so they do not see us gaming. We have gotten into an argument about how our hobbies are unacceptable and childish, and that we needed a change. Sundays are known to everyone as the unavailable days. We always say that we are on a date or something, but in reality, we are just at home getting our weekly gaming quota covered. 
My husband went to a gaming cafe with some friends visiting, and I stayed at home last Sunday. Mother-in-law decided to call me in the middle of a match, and I suppose that I was acting very suspicious because I wanted to end the conversation ASAP. She asked what I was doing, and I automatically replied without thinking that I was on a date with my husband. According to my husband, she then later called him and he said that he was at the bar with his friends. Mother-in-law decided to visit my house where I was undoubtedly in the middle of another game. I avoided any phone calls and pretended not to hear the knocking until my match was over, 20 minutes or so. Afterwards, I answered the door and pretended that I was sleeping, which is why I wasn't answering the phone or door. Mother-in-law exploded at me, calling me a cheater and that the child that I was pregnant with was probably not her son's because otherwise, why would I not answer the door? The idea that I would cheat and that it would even be possible to cheat on my partner was so hilarious to me that I burst out laughing, which angered her even more. She continued to berate me while I just smiled there sitting, thinking of how ridiculous this was. When my husband came home, she berated me in front of him about how I was cheating on him. He was visibly confused the whole time and confirmed with his mother that there was no possible way for me to cheat on him. He explained how we are together practically every moment of the day and when mother-in-law saw that he was not getting on her side, she proceeded to get mad at me for leading her on. She called me a jerk for pretending to have an affair and never correcting her before she told other people. Although I never clarified that I wasn't cheating, I do think that it was not her place to come unannounced and proclaim that I'm a cheater. Am I the jerk? All right, folks, what do you think? Jerk or not the jerk? Not the jerk, and husband needs to tell his mom to take a hike. Yeah, I mean, this needs to be one of those situations where you've you've reached a point where you are starting to lie about what you're doing and your activities to cover stuff up, and lying always ends up with more lies, and it's just one of those things where they spiral out of control pretty quickly. And so hopefully you've taken this as a lesson that lying about your gaming is not the way to go. Instead, tell them that if they say anything bad about your habits in the future, your gaming habits in the future, that you'll go low contact with them or even no contact with them. And the problem will hopefully solve itself because if you go no contact or low contact with them for an extended period of time, they'll realize you're serious. So yeah. Anyhow, take care and good luck. All right, folks, it is tea time. Grab your beverages of choice. I have some tea. Amber has some water, but she used to have mint tea. She also has a joke for us. What do you call an annoying nocturnal flyer? A garbage truck. A bratty bat. <laughs> bratty bat. I wasn't sure if I should say bratty bat or bratty batty, but you know, either way. <laughs> either way. And I have Earl Grey. All right, folks, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed this Monday morning special. If you did, consider giving it a like. And if you didn't, consider giving it a dislike. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you all tomorrow. Bye. I once was Little Bunny Foo Foo, but I didn't learn my lesson.